Hey guys, it's Sarah. Um, I have an iPod question because I got a new iPad pod like a couple weeks ago. Hang on a minute, I'm taking off my headphones. So I got a new iPod a couple weeks ago. Um, probably more like a month ago, but anyways, um, it's uh, like one of the sixty-four, and I don't know what gen it is. It's like the newest ones that they have. Um. And anyways, I noticed that my songs weren't syncing, and I have some songs on here, but then, like, some I don't, but I know that they're in my iTunes. Um, and so, like, last night I bought some songs off of a webpage that were not available on iTunes. I had to buy, like, from somewhere else. And I see them in my iTunes, but they won't import to here, to my iPod. And then, um... I have songs that it says are on my iPod, but then, like, I've never seen this before, but, like, um, right underneath, like, the song that I want to play, there's a thing that has a cancel download button, and it says minus 100% downloaded, and when I click on it, it goes to the artist, and then it plays a different song that's downloaded. So, like, um, for example, like, I was playing country music, and I, I remembered that I had some songs on my iPod by this girl. I don't know if she's indie or what she is, but this country singer, um, she's not really, like, played on the radio that much. But, um, anyways, her name is Katie Armiger, and she has a really cool voice, and just she's a really good singer. And so I wanted to play that one song, and I couldn't think of what it was called. Um, it's something about, like, going to the mall, and then she finds the guys with the, the lipstick in the guy's truck, and it's not her lipstick, and I don't know, and, uh, so I was playing the songs, and I noticed it was only playing, like, four Katie Armiger songs, and I know I have more than that. I have, like, a whole bunch. So I went into my music, and I clicked on Katie Armiger, and I have a bunch of songs, but, like, that they're not downloaded. So, like, that song that I was telling you about, the lipstick song, whatever, it's called Best Day, Best Day Ever or something like that. And so anyways, a bunch of my Katie Armiger songs say, um, cancel download. And then my Rodney Atkins did the same thing, because I thought I had that song that's like, if you're going through hell, um, and that doesn't play. So if I go back... Sorry, this is not loud. I can't turn it up anymore. Oh, I need to get rid of that. Okay. So it says I have three albums by Katie Armiger and 23 songs. So if I click here, you can see the ones that are downloaded. Make me believe. It says that. And if I click on it, nothing happens. And almost all my Katie Armiger songs say this. See, so if I click on 17 in Abilene, it loads the artist, and it says album art for Katie Armiger Believe, and it plays Katie Armiger Jealousy. It won't play... 17 in Abilene. Because that's like a cancel button with a download thingy. I don't understand. I did check the box, and I don't know if this has anything to do with it. Um, but I did check the box that says, um, oh, what does it say? Something about convert all songs to standard 128K because... I thought it would save space on my pod because when I have it unchecked, I'm using like double the amount. Like right now, I'm using like 20 gigs. Yeah, I have like 40 gigs left or something like that. Um, because I have like over 3,000 songs. But like when I have it like the other way, like when I don't check that box and the songs are like whatever sizes they are, a lot of my songs are, like, bigger files, and so, like, they, um, they are, like, 
it will take like double the space. So like my songs were taking like 12 gigabytes or 11 gigabytes when I checked the box. If I uncheck it and just put the songs as like a normal, it will, um, it will, um, it'll be like 24 gigs and then, um, my iPod's like almost full. And my mom's friend has an iPod. Um, he used to download stuff a lot, I guess. Then he started buying everything on iTunes is what my mom said. Uh, but my mom said he's got like over 7,000 songs and his 64 gigabyte iPod is only like halfway filled. And I don't even have close to that many songs. So my iPod shouldn't be like halfway filled. Um, anyway, so like, yeah, so like I said, my Katie Armadure has like that cancel download thing. Now if I go into my iTunes, Dot. iTunes 13 to 24. I can play it. Play it. From iTunes. So I have the song. It's in my iTunes. Because even my Colby Koloff stuff that I downloaded last night. Sources table. Relative 23. That stuff is in my iTunes. But it won't sync. It'll play in my iTunes. But it won't sync. Play button. Next. Radio. Radio button. 107. So. Match. Artist. Select radio button. 407. Genres. Radio button. 507. Video. My vertical splitter. Table. No selection. They said to try chat on... Somebody said this didn't work, but they said to try checking, unchecking the box that says sync music and then rechecking it and making it resync everything. New playlist, menu button. Playlist I action. thought about trying New that. Table. No select. And I also thought about trying to update to the latest iOS because I don't have the latest. I got my new iPod and it didn't come with like the latest, whatever, 7.1, I think it is. Um, oh. Artist table. My list. Artist table. Rel 1438. All artists. Rel PR manager button. Okay. That's Katie Armijo. Play button. Shuffle button. And Show action menu button. Three albums. Two, three. Three. Albums. Two, three songs. Stop intro. Table. No selection. One, four, one, five. Original area. April one, two. Two, zero, one, four. Slash jacket. Downloading one item. One, four, one, five. Original. Seven point three percent progress. Stop button. Switch to main player button. Now you're downloading a podcast. Could you not do that? I don't want to download my Jack Vanderpuy right Three albums. Two, three songs. That's annoying. Table. No selection. Interact. Confessions of a nice girl. Text. Year. Text. No okay. Interact with. Great. No selection. One row. Track number one, time two, three one, best song ever. Name one, stars are rating indicator. One, three, five, one, one. Ever, but the song nice I was on was seventeen and Abilene. Confessions of a great no selection. One row. So one let me play Believe, seventeen and Abilene. Believe text year two zero zero eight text year no stars album rating indicator great no selection eleven. Track number two, time three, two. Track number three, time three, one eight. Break your first name button. No stars are rating indicator. Oh, where's seventeen and Abilene? Table new playlist menu button. Take Katie Armiger text. Katie oh, it's on here. Katie Armiger. Stop it. Year two zero zero seven. Interact with text. Stop it. No stars. Album. Great. No selection. Track number three. Time three. Four seven. One seven. Natalie. Here it is. Menu. Play. One seven. Natalie. Closing menu. Great. No selection. One row. One column. Play seventeen. Natalie. Play. That's my song. That's definitely my song. I'm playing it on iTunes. But. Anyways, she's a country singer with like a beautiful voice. Anyways, oh my gosh. Window. Window. um, so then, like, see, it plays on there, but then if I go back here, let's see, seventeen, Abilene, seventeen and Abilene's right there, and it's graded out. See, it has that, but it won't play because it has a cancel download button by it. And there's songs that I'm like, I knew I had because I'm like, well, that's weird. I have this song on my iPod or this song and I'll tell Siri to play it and it won't because it can't find it, but it's on my iTunes. So like, let me try something. Play 17 and Abilene. Playing 17 and Abilene. See, it can't. Open music. Playing seventeen and Abilene. Open music. Some things you can ask me. It says it's playing, but it's not. One fifty nine a.m. Because it can't. Listen. Button. Help. Button. Listen. Sixty one percent battery power. Three. Cancel download. Seventeen and Abilene. Minus one hundred percent downloaded. Button. Cancel download. Seventeen and Abilene. Minus one hundred percent downloaded. See, it can't play. 
I don't understand. Like, it's showing, like, on my iPod, and it says I have the same amount of songs as my iTunes. Like, if you look at the number of songs, they're synced. It's the same amount. But for some reason, it's doing that. And I don't understand. Because, I, like I said, I'm playing it on my iTunes, but on my pod, it won't play. I don't know why. It's totally blank. It says on my iPad on the screen that it's playing Katie Armager 17 and Abilene, but nothing will play. It's like paused. It, it won't play. It's blank. But it's in my iTunes. So, if anybody knows what's going on, I would appreciate it. When I first got my iPod, I set it up like without iTunes, and then I connected it to iTunes after I got my Wi-Fi and all that stuff was like set up, stuff like that. And then um, it wouldn't open any apps. And then all of a sudden it just started working. It was really weird. Like, I would tell Siri to open something and it would say it couldn't find it even though it was on there. But then it started working. But I'm going to try the sync and resync box and see if maybe, like, that might help. Because I, uh, I don't know, it might. And then if not, I might try doing a backup and restore. Although that's just going to back up what I already have. And if it's corrupted, then I don't know. But... I don't know, I don't really want to have to do everything all over, because it's a pain. And I need to find a way to go through my iTunes library, because there's some stuff on this iPod that I'm like, this is a horrible song and a waste of space, and I don't know why it's on here. And then I have other stuff that I love that needs to be on here, like my uh, Switchfoot CD that Learning to Breathe is not on here, needs to be on uh, some other stuff. But if anyone knows what's going on, I've never, ever, ever seen that. Even on my iPhone, like, I don't have enough space to sync stuff, but it's never done that. This is the first time I've ever had an iPod where I could sync all my music. Why is my head killing? Just randomly killing me. I don't, I don't get this at all. What time do I have to get up for church? Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Six to eight. Mm, I might be able to swing it. I gotta take some leave. Okay, anyways, um, so if anyone knows what is going on, please help me, because I've never seen this before. And I will talk to you later.